I'll check it out, guys. It's finally full car. Welcome back, my friends and new subscribers. We have got a new 7-inch 4K HDMI field monitor by Newer for you. And uh, just before I open this puppy up, I will tell you why I got it. Um, this is my Canon Rebel T4i. Excellent camera. That's the lens that it came with. Now this camera is uh, $500 or so. It has a great flip screen and it turns and everything. So it's great to be filming yourself and you can see yourself and all that stuff. But this is the camera I prefer. So this, what you're seeing here is about $3,500. You know, it's like about seven times what that is worth. It's quite a bit more substantial camera. It's a Canon 7D Mark II. And as you can see though, it's got a no flippy screen or nothing. So, and it's a kind of a small screen as, as well. So, it's really hard to use this camera in some of the applications I want to without being able to see what it's pointing at. Um, me being one of those things. So that's why I got it. Um, and then again, just quickly, here's the little charger that was, uh, that came with the kit. And there was a case, let me get the case. Um, there's a really nice case. The case is all like foam padded inside there and stuff like that. Uh, so yes, let me put these aside so we can get to some unboxing. So the kit, as I was saying, it was um, $149 Canadian, which is $117 US. So it came with that case and this charger, and this is a Sony uh, P or F550 battery, I believe. And this nifty little charger. Um, and I like this guy a lot because it's, uh, um, what's that, like a type C connection to it. So I've just hooked it up to this little portable battery pack. Um, I have to turn that on. It's got a great little display on it. You guys can see that. Most of them just have a little blinky light, and that's it, right? But this one's got a nice little display on it. And I like the fact that I can charge it portably. You know, of course I can charge this at home, you know, but I thought it was going to be a wall, uh, you know, charger. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So... Let me stop that and we'll uh, move on to opening up this puppy. So, um, this was a fairly well rated unit. I did quite a bit of homework on it. All ready for that special moment? I don't know, I think I should leave that on for now because, uh, yeah, let's just leave it on and see what it looks like with that on. So, it's got. Uh, your quarter 20 tripod mounts. This looks like on the bottom. HDMI input. There's no pass through on this. Um, USB, headphones, audio video, power jack. So I don't know if it came with a wall plug or not. Let's take a look. What else we got in this box? Nice instruction manual. Of course, we don't need that, folks, do we? Thing there. Cables. Pretty much like the same one, but that one uh, that I bought uh, for the DSLR was specific to the camera. So that's a AV cable. It's a USB, and it's uh, got smartphone capability because that's a TSSR, TRRS, TRRS plug. You see it's got four poles to it. And then there's a TRS plug, which only has three poles to it. So that's compatible with some smartphones, 
in most recording, in pretty much all recording devices, that's, you know, going to give you left, right, negative. But um, for a smartphone, you need that. Beautiful little, uh, this is a metal ball mount. We've got an Allen key, that, corrupt screw that just kind of rolled away. That's a nice little feature. It's all, like I said, it's a metal made. It's a, it's your hot shoe mount in the bottom. Okay. Let's get that focus or pick that up. Um, that must be the sunshade, and here is the the visor that the sunshade clips to. So, let's put that on. See what it looks like. All right, so there's a shot with the uh, sun visor on. It fits very well. It's pretty easy to actually put on and off. It's got a Velcro thingy to it. And then you've got this little bracket, right? But the bracket pops off really easy. There's little, uh, there's little clips, little slots in the back that the bracket goes in. So let's power this up. And I, I think we have to just take this off because this is annoying me. So we're ready for that moment. Are you ready? Oh man, that was a good one. Look at that shine, baby. So let's power this thing up. All right, so there it is. I've got it mounted on top of the camera right now and it's pointed at my beautiful guitar rack. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this thing. It's got a beautiful display. Um, and uh, if I didn't already mention this, this is a assisted monitor. So it accesses some of your camera's function. The first F1, 2, 3, and 4 are programmable buttons. And uh, they, ha they have some default settings in them already. This is a focus assist on and off. Check field, red, green, blue, mono, off. Um, frames, center marker, on and off. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great little monitor, I think. I'm really happy with it. And um, I hope everybody learned something and had a little bit of fun today and enjoyed the show. And love and peace from Canada, as always. We are YouTube.